Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we Welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. Uh, I'm your host as always, Manny Lopez, and tonight we are going to be diving into week four of Manny's Challenge. If you guys have missed any of my previous week's challenge of one through three, then just go and jump on my YouTube channel after tonight's coaching and you'll see all of them in chronological order. So uh, let's dive right in tonight. don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, this week has been one interesting week for me and myself. Um, there's a big surprise that I will be sharing with you guys sometime in the near future, not today, but uh, exciting stuff coming down the pipe here. So uh, let's go right into today's trading. So last week we covered on uh, Manny's challenge of, what is it, breaking a barrier or something like that. It was um, mending a broken relationship. There it was. So mending a broken relationship, I hope you guys had fun with that one. This week is going to be a little different. We're going to be focusing just directly on your organization because, you know, when you're working with yourself, okay, the biggest obstacle that you are going to have is yourself, keeping yourself focused, keeping yourself motivated, keeping yourself on task. And that is a big struggle that every home-based business owner struggles with including myself you know there's plenty of days that I just want to sit there and just kick my feet up and relax uh, and just enjoy myself but you know the phones don't stop ringing um, you know the emails don't stop coming in the clients they need the service okay and you need a prospect because if you don't have your phones ringing you don't have the emails coming in you need that type of problem so you need to make sure that you're staying busy staying focused and staying on task and that's what today's challenge is going to focus on is making sure that you guys are staying um, organized right so what we are going to do this week is we are going to set a schedule yes I know maybe some of you guys are already doing this which is great looks like you got a head start for this week's challenge but we are going to set a schedule. We want to set a daily schedule from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. What is going to conspire between that time? And if it's playtime, then it's playtime. If it's not work time, then it's not work time. But you want to make sure that each of it is outlined so you know what you at least should be doing during that time. Okay, Because you know once you set yourself up for a goal or a weekly or setup or some type of campaign, it's got to have a structure, right? It's got to have a beginning. It's got to have what it's going to be happening during that campaign and what are we going to do at the end? You know, that's the whole point of getting, you know, something organized is to really have it structured so you know what's going to be happening from A to Z. Okay. So we're going to cover a little bit on um, my little setup here. So let me go and pull up mine. I'll probably have it. I mean, you guys won't see it on my screen here as I'm looking at it, but. Um, I'll have it, I'll add it in afterwards. So you guys will probably have it. It's probably covering my face as we speak. But uh, okay, so my uh, schedule. All right, so my first thing at six o'clock in the morning, I have check emails and follow up. Okay, so, you know, I've got clients that are East Coast. I've got clients that are even across the world. So, you know, I've got uh, a certain, you know, hour between that time uh, to just kind of follow up with my emails you know responses and stuff like that check them to see what I have scheduled that day what came in through over the night uh, stuff like that so first hour of the day is just getting getting yourself going okay uh, doing the normal stuff you would typically do wake up um, you know jump in the shower grab a cup of coffee I don't know whatever you do but 
you know, outline, the first thing you do, what do you do that for that first hour, okay? And then the next hour, I have uh, getting the boys ready for school, get breakfast. Um, all right, so that, you know, obviously, maybe you have something else between that time. Maybe you have kids to get, get ready for school. Um, outline that as well, whatever you're doing during that time. Literally outline every hour of your day. Um, if you have a certain structure, you know, set hours that you're doing something, hey, for eight hours a day, I'm at my, you know, regular job or, you know, for four hours a day, you know, I'm, I'm babysitting or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing, <laughs> doing. Um, all right. So the next one I have is from eight to nine workout. That is my schedule. That is not always what's happening. <laughs> uh, but uh, you've got to outline uh, a workout in there, some type of exercise. Maybe it's walking. Maybe it's you know doing a full-on workout. Maybe it's jumping onto the gym, jumping on the treadmill. You know, just uh, running in place. Who knows? Maybe jumping on a a thing. What I recently got. I really like this little thing. But it is called T25. Um, Focus T25 actually. Um, if you guys have heard of that Insanity workout, P90X, that kind of stuff, same guy. Um, but man, that is butt kicker right there. So I mean, you guys are going to see me get buff pretty soon. But anyways, all right. So the next one we have is uh, 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock is I'm calling 100 people uh, between that time. That's the goal. Okay, you set a goal. Uh, it doesn't always happen because, you know, sometime between there I'll get calls from other clients. I'll be on a call for maybe an hour with someone or a half hour of someone. Um, you know, whatever it is, my whole sec my whole section for that nine o'clock to eleven o'clock is prospecting, getting new leads, or maybe for myself if I get too busy, or maybe for yourself if you get too busy, uh, maybe following up with leads, set some type of at least a two hour structure of you doing some type of follow up or prospecting. Okay. Um, then I put in breaks. You gotta have breaks between these times. If you notice, um, on my structure, I'll put uh, we've got two hours of working, half hour break, an hour of working, half hour break, uh, hour of cleaning, uh, two hours of work, half hour break, hour of follow up, hour break, and then it goes into an hour break, half hour break. Uh, so I got four breaks between my day, between my entire work day. Um, and that's just to keep myself level-headed. Maybe for you, a 15-minute break, a 10-minute break, a smoke break or something. For me, I'll take a 30-minute break. I'll go and hang out with my kids. I'll go and uh, grab something to eat for myself. I'll go ahead and uh, just enjoy myself, maybe jump on Facebook and, and, uh, and respond to people and, you know, whatever. So just pick some time between your work that you're not doing four or five hours straight of work. You know, you want to go in two to three hours take some type of break. Two to three hours, take a break. It's going to keep yourself more structured and give yourself more energy during the day so you don't have to get just strenuous of just long, tedious hours of work to where you're at a point of once you're on that break, you're just relieved to even be done with everything. So you'd rather have um, a good amount of work and then you got an alarm clock that beeps and says, hey, uh, you got a break time. Oh, nice. You, then it's like an enjoyment. It's not like you're going and struggling to that, oh, man, man. You're just like, oh, finally get to that break. You know, if it's it's unexpected break, it's kind of like an extra bonus. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is, my phone, is I go ahead and um, I'll go and literally set my alarm clock for every hour, every two hours of what I'm supposed to be doing. So, I mean, you guys can't see them that well, but... Uh, literally everything that's structured on here, you know, workout time, call 100 people, and just give yourself a little motivation. Um, you know, most of the time on these apps and that you have these, um, what do you call it? Um, Pop-ups, I guess you'd call it, little messages that you can put along with that. So I'll put a little motivational message like, uh, for example, uh, the first thing to do, you know, right when I wake up, 6 o'clock, is jump up, Manny, let's go, get started. You know, so just motivated myself. Um, all right, let's man the phones. Let's see what his uh, thing says. Remember, it's a numbers game. 200 contacts in two hours. You got this. Or break time. Enjoy the next 30 minutes. You deserve it, right? <laughs> because sometimes maybe you weren't working during that time, and then you're like, hey, did you deserve that break? And then another time I go, break time. Lucky you. Um, <laughs> this one's funny. So at 1 o'clock when I'm supposed to be cleaning, uh, I want that blank spotless, clean fool. <laughs> um, you gotta make yourself laugh. You know, you gotta have fun with it. 
Uh, let's see what else I have. Additional follow-ups, finish strong. One hour left. Uh, boy time, let's make memories. That's what they remember. Uh, and then we have Nancy time. All right. So, I mean, that's, you know, what I do is I just download this app. It gives you multiple uh, um, alarm clocks. And then I set myself during the day, and it'll go off every couple hours saying, this is what time you're supposed to be on, this is what time you're supposed to be on. So it kind of keeps you on task as well, because then, you know, when you're supposed to start doing a project or you're supposed to start doing something, set an alarm for it. So that way you just remember, you got to do it. Because um, people think, you know, life gets busy. You go there, and, you, and you're sitting there, and you're, you're doing your thing, and you're like, oh, man, okay, I got to remember, got to do that thing. Um, and then... 20 minutes later, you're already distracted with doing something else. And you completely forgot about what you're supposed to do. So setting alarm clocks really helps me. Uh, maybe that can help you guys. So um, setting alarms or setting reminders, something to keep yourself on task. Um, so that would be uh, a really great tool to use there. So that's what I'm doing. So for me, I got to structure my day from you know waking up in the morning, follow up on my emails, check my Facebook, do my... Uh, you know, whatever I've got to do, do some updates, do designs, um, you know, record my PLS tips. Um, I even have to put a reminder to make sure I go pick up my son from school because <laughs> I'll get literally lost in doing something. I'll setting up a design or, you know, talking to a client or something. And if I miss it, man, that's not a good, <laughs> I've had a couple of times where my son's sitting at the office and he's like, daddy, where were you? I'm like, ah, oh, I was just a couple minutes late, son. But what's cool is that they have like, you know, a bunch of administrators that will sit there and wait with them. And then if they wait longer than like five minutes, they send them to the office. So, uh, so I don't really get much time. It's a very small window to get arrive there on time and, and make sure I, I can pick up my son. But um, I don't know. I guess that's not neither here nor there. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's what we're going for today, guys. So what I want to know is how are you guys doing on this Manny's Challenge? Okay, so... You know, what are you guys up to? You know, what are you guys following along with it? What kind of success are you guys having with it? Is it keeping you guys on task? Is it keeping you guys more motivated, more focused? I want to hear from you guys, okay? Uh, you guys rarely use my comments feature. Maybe you guys don't want to be sharing everything else out there with everyone else watching. You know, send it to me directly. I'd love to hear from you guys. So um, I get mail all the time, you know, mail but email uh, all the time from, you know, questions about the training, questions about how to implement some of the stuff that I'm teaching. And I really like it because it's just giving me the ability to interact with you guys and I'm seeing that I'm bringing value to you. Um, I see it all the time in the Facebook group and when you guys reach out to me, uh, which is really great and I, I love it. Thanks a lot for that stuff. So um, this uh, training looks like it's going to be very, very short today. We're only at about 12 minutes. So the challenge today, again, is create a schedule for yourself. All right. Outline what you're doing hour by hour. If it's in batches, that's fine. But literally outline your business day and outline family time. You know, make some time for your kids, make some time for the wife uh, or the husband is make time for the people that really matter in life. So it's not just, you know, work, 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 and, you know, oh, we get money and we'll enjoy that. No, you've got to enjoy the time with your family because if you're just working all day, um, your family's going to hate you. <laughs> They're going to get annoyed with it. They're gonna just going to be like, God, stop talking about this. Get over, you know, do something else other than just thinking about work all day. And uh, I've had to have that conversation with the wife a few times. You know, she's um, really supportive of the business, but, you know, if, You've been around me long enough. You know how I can get when uh, I'm onto something. You know, if I'm locked into something, an idea or a project that I'm working on, I want to just talk about it and talk about it and talk about ideas and bounce ideas off of you. And and uh, what sucks about it is <laughs> my wife is is kind of stuck with me all the time, listening to it and kind of just being my this idea bouncer of everything and and she supports it and it's great and she she just follows along and she's always giving me the big thumbs up but I can tell a lot of times she's like oh just shut up <laughs> so um, yeah so that's what I'm on to right now guys so go ahead and put together your schedule for yourself I want to see how that works for you guys implement it and just see how more effective you're going to be in your follow-ups in your system when you just have a set schedule and and make yourself accountable. Share it with other people. You know, put it on your Facebook or something. Say, hey guys, here's my new schedule. This is what I'm sticking to. Um, you know, blah blah blah. Just if you share it with others, it's making yourself look like 
I've got to be accountable because I'm showing this to other people. I, I'm, you know, they're count, they're counting on me. Share it to your kids. Share it to your significant other. You know, the people who are going to be there, looking at you, watching you, um, seeing if you can stay on track with it. So that's what we're sticking with today, guys. And um, you know, reach out to me if you guys have any questions. Uh, my information's below. Uh, as you can see, my uh, my cell phone number is right below the video here. So if you want to reach out, text me there with any questions that you guys may have. And I uh, look forward to guys seeing you guys next week um, with Manny's Challenge number five. And uh, talk to you soon. Have a good one. Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 design. Developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor. And make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com.